And you feel he's been very hot, that he's a real threat to go all the way today. Well, the thing that's most impressive about uh, Dennis Lane is when I first knew him, he couldn't hardly hook a ball. He had great direction. That's how he first got on the tour. But now he's throwing a pretty good arc on the ball, and he's got the direction with it. Oh, but what a way to start it out, huh? Back to Mark Roth. <laughs> of the whole tournament in Warren Nelson. They'll be playing him the winner this way. Mark Roth, he is sizzling. Now Roth is going for his sixth straight strike. He's got it. He's had six 300 games in this tournament. Seven in a row, and what a show he's putting on here. He has eight in a row, and I'm telling you, the people here are along with him emotionally. Look at the reaction from the crowd. So let's hope he gets this one. We'll have some fun. Oh, he bounced it. Oh, he got it. <laughs> All right. Watch out. We know, of course, he's already won. It's a matter now of whether he bowls the perfect game. Oh! Just couldn't get that 10 pin. So after nine straight strikes, Mark Roth is denied the perfect game and the opportunity to win 500. But the way he's bowling, he still may have a couple more cracks at it. Oh, I'm sure of it, because I'll tell you, Mark did shoot 299 one time in Kansas City, so this is not the first time he's had a chance at 300, so it wouldn't surprise me if he came back and started all over again the next game. So Mark Roth will be going against Warren Nelson in the semifinals in the stepladder competition. Did you look at that? particular ball. I didn't pick up the 10 pin. Did you read it that way? Did it look good headed down the lane? It looked like a good shot to me. I have to be very honest. From uh, sitting here, I thought he executed the shot just as good as he did the others. And uh, it must have broke late because he just went behind the pocket of hair. Yeah. Well, he there picks up where he left off. Boy, what a performance by Mark Rock. Look at that. Mark Roth at 279.